Hi, this is Pablo, and you're listening to Concert Crap. Hey guys, Karen with Concert Crap, and I am here with internationally renowned, award-winning guitarist Pablo. Thanks for joining me, Pablo. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Glad to be here. Now, I say, you know, guitarist, like, you play guitar. Why? Why? What got you into music in the first place? Um, wow. I mean, honestly, it's, uh, it's a love affair. It started off as a love affair with the instrument, and it still is. I, I love to play, Karen. I mean, if anyone has seen me live, they'll understand. You know what I mean? Like, when I'm on stage playing my guitar, there's no other place in the world I'd rather be than be on that stage doing it. It's, it's, it's what I've... That's why I've been put on this earth to do. So if you weren't in music for some reason, you know, what would you, what do you think you would be doing right now? Oh my God. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, geez, I have no idea. You see, the thing is, I've never really done anything else. You know, I mean, of course, you know, after I finished my schooling, I went and did side jobs, but it was all just to be able to fund my dream, my passion, and that was my music. So honestly, it's a hard question to ask because I've never done anything else in my life other than music. I mean, I did it unsuccessfully for, for many, many years, but it doesn't matter. I, you know, I was doing it, you know, and um, so, yeah, it's a question I can't answer. I, I don't think I could do anything else. I'm actually a useless person, to be honest. <laughs> other than playing guitar and playing music, I, I can't do anything. Sometimes it takes me six months to change a light bulb. <laughs> So does that mean, like, if you had to switch instruments for a performance, would you be able to play it as successfully as the guitar? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I play a few different things, you know. I mean, I, I can play any string-type instrument, you know. Uh, but, um, you know, guitar is, my, it, it, guitar is the instrument that I realize that I can best express myself naturally, flawlessly, uh, you know, genuinely. It just, it just flows out of me, you know. Uh, I, you know, everyone picks their instrument, and if you're lucky, you get the one that you were meant to be with. And I was lucky. I was meant to be with the guitar, and we, you know, it, it worked out. Now, you have, I mean, you've been doing this for a while, as you said, and pretty much your whole life, and you've released a lot of music over the years. Now, everybody has a favorite. I have my favorite of your songs. What's your favorite? Oh, my God. That's the hardest question. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I've written hundreds of songs. I, I've recorded hundreds of songs, actually. Um, it's very tough, you know. Um, it's very tough. I, I don't know. It's, every, every song that I write, there's a reason for it. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's many different types of writers, uh, and some writers, they just go into a room every single day, and they just write. And whether it's good or not, they just pump out songs, right? And that's cool. I, I can't do that. I only write when I have something to say, when I have, you know what I mean? Like, I only write when I'm inspired. And sometimes it's no songs for a month, and other times it's three songs in a week. You know what I mean? So every song that I do, every song, every note that I play on stage, it means something to me. So it's an impossible question to ask. But thank you. <laughs> that's okay, you know. You never know. So, you know, you said you have hundreds of songs that, you know, you've recorded. Now, yeah. um, when I saw you live back in August, you mentioned you don't have a set list. So how do you choose what songs to play? Yeah, um, whatever comes to me at that moment, you know. I, like, I, I have a really amazing band behind me. And what that enables me to do is be a, a real artist in the sense that live in the moment. You know, I, 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 I think this is getting lost in the music business, right? Bands, artists, they go out on the road and they do 60 shows and every show is exactly the same. So whether you see the first show, the 17th show, the 25th show of that tour, it's exactly the same. How boring is that, you know? Uh, that's not my world. Every night is an adventure. You know, of course, I play a lot of the same songs, uh, but I play them at different parts of the show, of the night. Uh, I play them, sometimes I play them faster, I play them slower, I play them longer. Sometimes I make them twice as long, depending on what I'm doing. Like, you know, if, if I jump out to the audience and I start dancing with somebody, well, guess what? That song is going to be a lot longer tonight. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's just a real um, spontaneous 
approach. And I love that because every night is unique. So do you think that um, it uh, keeps you from kind of getting in a rut and it keeps the shows fresh so that, you know, like you mentioned, because I mean, I do understand, we know we're set list they don't change, but the audience changes. So do you have to change that, you know, depending on what audience you're in front of? Uh, yeah, it's, that's just it. I know the audience changes every night, but the thing is you don't change, right? So you got to feel the audience and feel, and, feel and, and be in the moment. I think when you do the exact same set list every night, you're not in the moment. You're running through a schedule. You know what I mean? You're running through... You know, this song is exactly three minutes and, you know, 42 seconds, and it's going to be exactly that length every night. And the other thing is that most people don't understand, a lot of these bands, they play the track, right? And so they'll play to a click, with to a metronome, and they'll also play the track, which means they have pre-recorded, you know, music coming out of the speakers alongside the artist, right? So when you do that, you cannot deviate from the song. And then that's cool. Everyone's got their thing. All I'm saying for me, I can't do that. To me, I have to be flexible. I have to be able to extend the song. I have to be able to slow it down. I have to be able to speed it up. I want to be in the moment, you know. And at the end of every night, I go back to my hotel room and I'm exhausted, you know. Not that I would ever show that to the audience, but I'm exhausted because I've given it my own. You know, I've been on edge the whole night not even knowing myself what the next song would be, <laughs> you know, and that thrills me. So even though the audience changes every night, I'm hoping that when they see me, they see me realizing that I play like it's going to be my last concert ever. And I do that every night, you know. So I want to talk a little bit, go back to your band. Um, they're honestly some of the most talented musicians I've ever had the pleasure of seeing live. Um and when you don't have a set list, how do they kind of react to that? Do you tell them before? Do you just kind of start playing and they go along with it? Yeah, that's a great question. Like, the band is amazing. They're, they're very, very high caliber musicians, and they know my songs inside out. So that's exactly it. Like, all of the above, basically. When I, you know, I, I mean, we know the first couple of songs to get the night underway, even though, even though that's actually not true. Sometimes I've been known for walking on stage and changing my mind as I walk in the middle of the stage. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes I'll just turn back and I'll, boom, I'll yell up the song and then I'll count it in and they've literally got about four seconds to remember what key it's in. Other times I will, I'll just start playing and I'll see how long it takes for them to catch up. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's so cool to be given that freedom. I, I, I can't, mention it enough, you know, like to be given that freedom to play on the fly and to create a set list on the fly and have the musicians who are that good that can instantly adapt to me within seconds is it, a freedom. It's a freedom that I think very few uh, artists are given, you know. Awesome. So um, I have to say you are maybe one of the most accessible musicians I've ever come into contact with. And I'm talking specifically about the OPA page on Facebook. Okay. Um, how did that come about? Because I know that you and your wife, Sandra, you guys respond to almost everything on that page. And for everyone listening at home, there is a um, page on Facebook called OPA Official Pablo Admirers. How did that come about? Um, boy. Uh, well, there's a person that runs at Regina. Um, I can't remember how it, it all started, to be honest with you. Sandra's got a bit more of a handle on all that. Uh, Sandra, my wife. Um, but Opa is a place where obviously all the fans gather um, and they chat. And I think the administrator is Regina, Reg, uh, uh, Regina Rodriguez. Um, and, yeah, it's all good. I mean, to be honest with you, I feel so lucky, Carrie, you know, because I feel lucky that people want to get together and talk about my music and talk about my concerts and they put up pictures of concerts wherever I am. It's so cool. Like, who am I? You know, like, I, I, I'm so grateful for that, you know, because at the end of the day, all I'm really trying to do is, is spread my music, you know, that's it. You know, I'm just trying to get my music out to the world. And those kind of Facebook community pages are awesome because like-minded people are, are there 
uh, talking about my music and stuff, and I, I feel so honored. So with the videos, you know, that they post on there, is that a way for you to kind of judge, okay, maybe this time we'll do this song differently, or maybe this worked really well, so we'll keep that the same? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, there's thousands of videos out there now of my live shows, and honestly, I don't really, I don't really watch the videos anymore. Um, because I, I also don't want them to don't want the videos to influence me. So, I mean, I respond to comments and stuff like that. I don't really watch my videos anymore on on Facebook. It used to be cool years ago. Be like, oh my god, I'm on Facebook. <laughs> you know, but now there's like thousands of videos, literally thousands of videos, and there's like a hundred versions of one song. You know, um, times that by like 120 songs. So. I, I I don't watch the videos anymore, but I'm I'm glad that others do, you know, which is very cool. I mean, there's a there's a Russian uh, artist. Um, I don't I think she's based out of Moscow, but I'm not sure. And she puts my music to her art, and 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 between a few songs, or I think there's been millions of views, and you know, all that stuff is just very cool, you know, because. There's a lot of people that are getting introduced to my music through these YouTube videos. So it's cool. I, I love it all. Awesome. Now, you've done so much over the years. Like, you've performed all over the world. You have so many amazing songs. Where can you go from here? You know, honestly, it, it never ends. You know, like, inspiration is is a is a well that just keeps giving, you know. And as long as you're willing to receive it'll always happen, you know, and right now, uh, you'll probably be the first actually right here to know that I'm flying back up to Toronto in a couple of weeks and I start my, uh, work on my next album and my next album is different than anything I've ever done. And I've been working on it for six years. I'm just, I'm just actually going to record it now. It's actually going to be an all vocal album. Um, and it's going to be guest vocalists from friends that I've had from all over the world. Um, so it's going to be pretty cool. So, you know, there's always something to do. There's always something different. There's always a different spin. And I'm primarily known as, a, as, a, as an instrumental artist, but I write a lot of vocal songs. Um, and this next album will be all original vocal songs that I wrote uh, with a lot of my friends uh, singing them, a lot of famous uh, vocalists singing these songs. So that's pretty cool. That's very exciting. I'm very much looking forward to that. Now, Pablo, do you have anything else to say before we wrap up this interview? Uh, no, I just, you know, I hope to meet everybody on the road. You know, I am a touring artist, um, which means that, I, you know, I, I do about 150 cities a year. And it's basically been, been like that for about 20 years. So I, I go on the road and I meet a lot of people. And um, I, I look forward to meeting everybody in, in their city. Awesome. So thank you so much for joining me, Pablo. I really enjoyed the sneak peek into seeing what's coming next. Awesome. Thanks, Karen. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah. And this has been Karen with Concert Craft. Thanks for joining, guys. We'll catch you next time.